guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're starting Vinland Saga. So this was the winner of one of our polls that we posted on Patreon. That's right. The people have voted and so here we are today. It got almost 50% of the vote. I'm going to assume that's also because season two is currently airing. So it currently... Okay. Yeah, it has some yeah. hype around it currently. So wait, will we be caught up by the time the last episode comes out? Definitely. I'm pretty sure that season two is going to have like 24 episodes and they're only up to episode five. So okay, most definitely. Now, I've heard that Vinland Saga is very, very good. Uh, we've been getting this recommendation for months now, ever since we started AOT pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's the exact same as me. So I'm very excited to get started. I actually love starting new series. It's mm -hmm. like a... I don't know, like a blank canvas, a fresh slate. Yeah, I mean, this series is meant to be a little bit different to what we're used to. We like to change up the genres at least a little bit every now and then. You know, we've been getting into Slice of Life just a little bit. We are planning to do a little bit more of that. Uh, we do a lot of just your know, battle shonen types. Mm -hmm. A little bit of comedy now with One Punch Man. Yep. We're going to start a sports anime probably in the next couple of months as well. Very excited for that. I don't actually know what genre this falls under not shonen i don't know anything about it uh i think a lot of things are shonen but what type of shonen i'm not entirely sure i don't ah. i don't know someone can clarify we're still new to anime so i've got no clue so there are subcategories for shonen i'm not sure carly okay you're asking the wrong person right. but from what i've heard that it's it's really good it's got a lot of good character building mm -hmm. does have some action here and there the animation is nice i think it's witch studio and then mappa so kind of like okay. aot yeah Mappa seem to always take over, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're taking on quite a bit at the moment. All right. Also, I've heard some of the OP. It's incredible. It's so good. It'd be in my top five that I've heard. Are you going to be uploading? Yeah, I'm going to be doing a cover for this video. We yes, love to definitely. hear it, don't we? Yeah, definitely. This is one of my favorite OPs that I've heard. If you're new here, Angelo does a cover of all of the OPs to the shows that we watch. Almost all of the OPs. Almost. <laughs> well, like back in the day, we didn't, but... Yeah, that's right. I like to do it every now and then. If you guys want to skip this little intro part, we'll also have timestamps. But we'll be reacting to this show probably two to three times a week, I would say, Yeah. on the channel. And if you guys want to get two to three episodes ahead, you can head over to our Patreon. I'll leave the link down below. I'm pretty sure the setting for this series is a little different as well, like the Vikings or the Pirates or something like that. I had no... I literally genuinely had no idea. I think this is the blindest I'm going into a TV show. Right. Anime. Yeah. Sorry if that offended anyone. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Slightly longer pilot, it looks like. Yeah. Doesn't really. Oh, I was gonna say, it doesn't really look like Viking sort of uh, <laughs> intro. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. The cornfield? The wheat field. Wheat, okay. <laughs> Thaws. Okay. Oh, cute. Got a baby? <laughs> Is that a landmine? Oh, he was daydreaming. No, no, there he is. Oh, shit. Oh. I hurt my neck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a loose unit there. Oh, shit. That's some sharp blades. Okay, who's that other dude? The blondie? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Year 987. Thorkel. Thorkel or Thorkel? Got a spring in his step. <laughs> it's 
guy doesn't look like the sneaking type, personally. Yeah. Kind of built a bit bigger, you know? Shit, this is some sort of introduction to a character. What the heck? Yeah, I know, right? Doors. Doors. Doors, God of Thunder. I'm going to assume that guy just lost the fight. Yeah. This might be my sort of show, Carly. I'm on with the predictions already. <laughs> but that's sad. Yeah, of course it's sad. Maria. Oh! oh! It doesn't Thor's affect Thor's. Thor's is unfazed. He's invincible to some degree? No. Probably just his armor or something. No, that shit always makes me uneasy under the water. Oh... Don't need to worry about Thor's. Shit. Okay. He's, he's, he bloody swam a long way. Yeah, he did swim a long way. Yeah. Quite fit. It was a good intro. <laughs> I mean, we skipped it, but yeah. We no, like... I mean like the intro to the show. Oh, right. <laughs> the opening scene. Yeah, we'll watch the OP <laughs> after, this, after the season. Or after the first part or whatever. Yeah. I've never really watched anything that takes place like in these sort of regions or like this time period. I mean, Game of Thrones kind of looks similar, but that's about it. Yeah, I've watched a few things. Thorfinn. I'm trying to remember the names already. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at his face. Maybe this was the kid at the start? Oh, maybe maybe when he was a baby, like in Thor's uh, vision. Maybe that was the last time he saw him. Oh, okay. And this is him, like, grown up a bit now. Yeah, could be right. Because his name is Thor's Finn, I'm guessing. Thorfinn? Thor After Finn. his dad, I suppose. Yeah, that kind of looked like Maria as well. Wait, was it Maria? No, Maria no, was... that was the other bloke's wife. <laughs> whoever, whoever. Oh. Going hard on the animation here. Yeah, I like Witch Studio. They've got nice animation, I think. Yeah. Seems to be celebrating very early on those waves. <laughs> I mean... You just gotta ride him out, Angelo. Your mum. Ah, oh, Vinland, okay. What? Carly. What the heck? Vinland. It's a nice name. <laughs> <laughs> so he's kind of like telling us the story. Yeah. <laughs> Is he lying right now? Usually those things happened a little bit different in history, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit. That's why I don't go on boats. <laughs> I mean, next to this dude, it, yeah, maybe doesn't seem like one. <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. Fabricated some of the details. Yeah. If not the whole thing. <laughs> Seems like a nice dude, though. Does he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going to freeze to death, this guy. Yeah. Oh. He looks like a slave. He's yeah, got... he's got chains. Yeah. Oh. 
丈夫よまあねいずれ誰も越せぬような冬が来るかもしれない Winter is coming Let's go. Oh shit. <laughs> Can't say that. I'm just gonna call it a dragon. <laughs> oh no. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Is this like a daily task here? Shit. Well, during winter, I'd assume. I think it's like this all year round. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, the slave. Oh gosh. Shit. It was so close to the house. How did he was so close to the house? Yeah, he obviously just like passed out or whatever and oh, tried to no. maybe crawl over or something. I don't know. He's seen the horrors on on board. I think was the shielded son. He's too young. <laughs> yeah, he's very eager though. Hmm. I don't know what to believe with this dude. No, no, I believe him. Yeah, it does not sound like something to boast about. Oh, what the heck? Ooh, he's frozen solid. Shit. Oh my gosh. They seem like a nice family. Yeah. Oh gosh, she's been doing it for ages. Look at him, he's sweating. Well, I guess they got the fire up high. <laughs> I wonder how much, like, historical accuracy the show has, too. Yeah, because these places are all real, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> They're real countries. Yeah. Shit. Okay. So this is actually a better life. Oh wow, he did not like that, did he? No, that was not a lie, I don't think at all. Oh, he's still going. Because it's similar to what happened to their family, they went to escape the oppression maybe, and that's why he's trying to save this person too. Yeah. Because they were runaways. No way. Let's go. He traveled so far oh by God. the likes, or by the sounds of it. Got no color in his lips. Mm. Oh crap! How did they know he's here? That was quick. Got to do with the fight at the start, probably. Maybe someone tracked him back or something. No, they're looking for the slave. Yeah, they said that he's done something wrong. Stolen their slave? Oh, right. Oh, 
Oh shit. Is that half Dan? Half Dan or half Tom? Good one, Angelo. No, it was shit. <laughs> Just your pronunciation made it sound like half Dan, you know? That's the spelling, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the pronunciation, though. <laughs> Not the time. No, half Dan is spoken. Half Dan, you say. Half Dan. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! It's <gasps> a terrible philosophy. <laughs> yeah. His eyes are dead. Yeah. Is this what happened when he died? Oh, that's sad. I think it is. This guy's had it rough, man. Shit. At least he can die warm. With his family. You can't just walk in like that. I hope, he, I hope he passed away. They're going to torture him. It's not going to happen. Oh, shit. Mm, not the time. Yeah, you need to be caught up. Oh my gosh. Can't say no to that. His family now. Often's a piece of trash. Yeah. Yeah, he died before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that slave's story spoke to him. Mm. Sounded all too familiar, I guess. Who is this? He looks mean, but he's got a fresh cut. <laughs> so I already love balls. Mm. He's your sort of man by the looks of things. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Nothing like me. But. <laughs> I'm sure you would be like Thor's under those circumstances. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just probably got to consume 10,000 more calories. That's all. <laughs> no, look. Thor's is really nice. I, I like the family, actually. Mm. Yeah, I do. I, I found myself quite invested in them pretty quickly. Uh, they gave a lot of, like, explanation as to where everyone is and why, like, straight away. Yep. We've got to try and remember all the names. We've got Thorfinn, who's the, the son, very eager to, I guess... Be like his dad. Yeah, like, and sail and stuff like that. Ilva. Yeah, the I'm sister. I'm not sure how to say it yet. That was pretty good, I think. I forgot the mum's name. Yeah, I forgot her name too. I don't think they really said it that much. And then was it Leif? Was that the old dude? Oh, the loose unit guy. He wasn't much of a loose unit. Yeah, he was kind of just... Bit of an idiot. Yeah, but I think I feel like he means well. He's kind of that, that old character that you're just probably just going to like anyway. Yeah, okay. I don't know. That's the vibe I'm getting from him. And then we had at the start the other really strong dude. Yeah, the friend, right? Forgot his name too. Yeah, something L. Nell. Hacknell or something like that. I don't All think it was right. Hacknell. It wasn't Hacknell, but. And half Dan. Yeah, half Dan or something. Half Dan. You half know Dan. what? Half Dan is half the man I thought he was. Yeah. 
so this Vinland that they speak of, that Thor's describes, and what's the other dude's name? The old dude describes as well. Leif? Yeah, Leif. Leif, I think. No one's actually seen this place, right? This is just imaginary uh... that, that people are describing and... And kind of maybe I'm already thinking that that might be a place they describe to be so nice because it's not in the world that they're in. Right. Or like no one's there. Yeah. So there's an opportunity to like go and have like a peaceful place for people to live. Like runaways. Or the most peaceful place. Or maybe it's like a like a riding device thing where they're like the most peaceful place is Vinland. But this is in your imagination sort of thing. Or it's like heaven. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of like freeing you of the place that you're currently in and putting you into a really really nice place that's probably non-existent. I don't know. That was the vibe that I was getting there, but maybe I didn't follow that conversation properly mm. that the slave was having with Thor's there. The Thor's obviously sees a lot of uh, parallels because they had to escape. Yeah. Well, his his ancestors, I suppose. Was it during his life? I don't remember exactly what they said there. Why do you think he gave eight sheep for a dying slave? One, they weren't going to like massacre his body or whatever. They were probably going to give him like a proper resting place and whatnot compared to what half Dan was going to do. He was going to mm-hmm. chop him in half probably That's like, and feed him to the sheep. That's probably what he would have done. Yeah, but like he's never met this guy before. I'm thinking it's got something to do with... It reminded him of someone. Yeah, what he's seen in the past. Maybe he's seen like a family member or a friend. Well, you were just saying before, this has happened to his ancestors. He's probably heard stories about mm. it, stuff like that. Like dying in peace is... Very you important. can't pay the price on that. Like, y- yeah. pay cheap is like nothing. Okay, yeah. That sounds plausible too, yeah. That was really nice though. Yeah, that was a really good first episode, I reckon, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, I can see... Thor's kind of, you know, being the king of Vinland one day. I hope that doesn't mean that he has to die and stuff, but... Yeah, we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens with this Vinland place. Mm. Uh, whether or not it exists or if it's always going to be like a pipe dream for everyone. Something like that. I'm more interested in, in the kid, Thorfinn. Uh, yeah. He's that, that typical character who who's very eager to, to get involved and stuff like that. And he's very innocent. He's probably going to turn into some sort of like... Epic warrior. Yeah, some sort of warrior who's seen some shit and maybe regrets wanting to be so involved in all of this. Oh, do you think so? Yeah, I reckon he's going to turn to some, like, cold, battle-driven warrior or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's the vibe I'm getting from him. Uh, Or just the way they're setting up the characters. I reckon he's cool because he's sort of... Like, he's obviously really young and everything and he wants to follow in... The footsteps of what his dad's been doing, but he kind of seems like his own person at the same time. Yeah, he believes who he wants to believe. He's not so gullible yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's not like he's like in his dad's shadow and everything. He sort of wants to be out there, you know? He just That's just what he wants to do. Well, yeah, in his little dream, he was like the commander there. He was, <laughs> yeah. he was at the forefront. Yeah. But the episode ended with this other character on a boat. Yeah. And then there was what that treasure chest or something was that a chest yeah it looked like a chest yeah and what was in it was it the sword that i was talking about i don't know maybe not not. that does seem far-fetched that what they'd swim to the bottom and yeah unless it was like a really special sword or something like sort of gryffindor kind of vibes yeah i'm not sure we're gonna watch the next episode straight away anyway so hopefully we get those answers soon yeah i'm excited to delve more into this world yeah, it's quite unfamiliar territory for me personally. I, you watched Vikings, didn't you? I don't know if that's anything like this, but... Yeah, I watched the first couple of episodes and didn't vibe with it that much, oh, okay. so I stopped, but... Yeah, I've never really watched anything like this uh, in terms of the setting, the time period. How do you go with this time period? A lot of people are like, I hate this time period. I can't watch anything in this time period. You know, funny you mentioned that because Game of Thrones was kind of set in an ancient looking time period where... Or I think it was an ancient time period anyway. Uh, I didn't really listen to those those parts <laughs> of the story anyway. But that's why I was put off it in the first place, Game of Thrones. But then I ended up loving Game of Thrones. So It's more like the story, not yeah, the, exactly. the time period. Yeah, I don't really have, a, have an issue with this. I, I've never really been a fan of like pirates and Vikings and that sort of thing. But I'm not like opposed to it. Yeah, if it's, it's not, a good story, it's a good story. Exactly. So it's new to me. So I'm kind of excited regardless. Yeah. I've seen Outlander also. 
Oh yeah, you love that show. Goes back. Oh, love Outlander. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.